Now, to complete any flanged assembly, two additional items are required. These are bolts and gaskets. Bolts obviously hold mating flanges, nozzles or valves together. The pressure rating of a flange will determine the size, spacing and number of bolts. Of course, as the nominal pipe size and the pressure ratings change, so will the diameter, spacing and number of bolts. Flanges are designed to match the bolt circle and bolt hole dimensions of other flanges that are of the same diameter and pressure rating. Now, bolt hole arrangements, as highlighted in this example, may seem inconsequential. But when you consider the fact that components of a piping system may be fabricated in one country, then shipped to another country for assembly, then bolt alignments become increasingly important. So, it is critical that drawings convey the exact orientation of flanges to the fabricator. Otherwise, bolt holes may not align properly. In this regard, the American National Standard Institute requires all flanges straddle the horizontal, vertical or north-south center lines of pipe and equipment, as shown in the following two figures. The left figure depicts a plan view of a horizontal vessel and highlights in exquisite detail the bolt hole arrangement, spacing and number for the nozzle flange. The right figure depicts an elevation view of a vertical vessel and shows the bolt hole characteristics for the nozzle flange. Ok, now to ensure that bolt holes on flanges, nozzles or valves align properly, holes are equally spaced around the flange. Keep in mind, bolts are found in quantities of 4, that is 4, 8, 12, 16 and so on. The following formula makes bolt hole location and alignment quick and simple. The angular location is equal to 360 degree divided by the number of holes on the flange. So, as an example, for the following flange, using this formula shows holes on a 4-hole flange to be spaced 90 degrees apart. Now, by straddling the center line, as you can see here, holes will be positioned 45 degrees on each side of the center line. Finally, the following figure depicts the bolt hole spacing for various types of flanges. This figure is also available in the downloadable resource section. Lastly, to finish off this lecture, keep in mind that bolts are available in two types, machine or stud. Machine bolts have a head on one end and threads on the other. Stud bolts have threads throughout their entire length and require the use of two knots. Stud bolts are actually the most commonly used type and are available in two grades, B7 and B16. B7 bolts are used for temperatures up to 1000 degree Fahrenheit. B16 bolts are used when temperatures exceed 1000 degree Fahrenheit. The following figure depicts a sectional view of two flanges being mated around the gasket and secured with a stud and machine bolts.